Hi, I am Pradipta Banerjee and I welcome you to the course on troubleshooting Kubernetes. I have been involved in designing and delivering enterprise solutions for more than 15 years. Since last few years, I have been involved in developing and deploying Kubernetes-based solutions for our customers and helping them in their transformation journey. I lead a small group of highly passionate and motivated individuals in IBM working to differentiate cloud-native technologies on our server platform. I am a technology enthusiast and a firm believer in open culture and technologies. My name is Tomasz Relek. I am a software engineer programming mostly in Java and Scala. I am a fan of microservices architecture and functional programming. I was working in cloud applications on production for past six years. Containers are changing the way applications are being developed, deployed and managed. Consequently, the container orchestration has become a very critical piece of infrastructure for enterprises. Kubernetes has become the de facto standard for container orchestration. This course will provide a tour of debugging issues with the Kubernetes cluster infrastructure and present a working mental model of how the cluster operates. You will be addressing common problems in cluster management. Subsequently, we will examine common issues when creating and deploying apps on Kubernetes. By the end of the course, you will gain full control of your Kubernetes infrastructure and will be able to manage it with ease. So this course is split into six sections. Section one will delve on Kubernetes cluster installation. A quick overview of available options will be discussed, followed by practical tips on planning for a production grade Kubernetes cluster. Section 2 will cover the CLI and the dashboards for Kubernetes, which is required for effective management and troubleshooting of cluster issues. Section 3 explores Kubernetes logging and how to leverage basic and cluster level logging for managing and troubleshooting a Kubernetes cluster. Section 4 discusses Kubernetes monitoring, the key metrics to monitor, and how to use alerts to notify for important events in your cluster. Section 5 will be about troubleshooting application deployment issues. So we will look at the most complex and advanced troubleshooting techniques. In the section six, we will be configuring your services. So we'll see how you can expose your microservice using Kubernetes. For this course, a working knowledge of Kubernetes and containers is required. I hope you find this course useful and it enables you to plan, operate and manage a Kubernetes cluster in production. So let's get started.